With more than 175 different cohorts and biobanks today, the University Medical Center Groningen has decades of experience with longitudinal cohort and biobank research. What makes Groningen such a good place for cohort research? It is not only because of the proximity of Lifelines, the largest population cohort of the Netherlands, but also because of the close relationship between research and healthcare provision and our commitment to collaboration. In our cohort, patient care and research are really connected to each other. Uh, we're focusing on predicting the disease course and treatment response in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. So, for example, patients use the eHealth app My IBD Coach to collect real-world data, and these data are used for clinical care. We started in the university hospitals and are now expanding to regional hospitals so that every patient in the Netherlands can participate. We started this study in 2001 and have completed seven rounds of measurements so far. We are very grateful to our loyal participants. I think loyalty is a strong point of this region. Many of the TRAILS participants still live here in the north. Over the years, the original TRAILS cohort has been extended with a second cohort and an offspring cohort. This allows us to study developments in different populations and not only within individuals, but even across generations. In recent years, we have closely collaborated with Lifelines in the EMALIFE, where we combine population data with clinical approaches. We collaborate extensively with partners, both commercial and academic, from the Netherlands and from across the world. Our aim is to include imaging biomarkers for personalized prevention strategies and improved patient outcomes. To further strengthen our cohort research, we launched the Cohort and Biobank Coordination Hub. The hub serves as a linking pin and knowledge centre for all our cohort activities. With our cohorts and biobanks, we are building the future of health. <laughs>